Hi there and thank you so much for joining me for another video. Now I saw a video by Webastra and they basically used an online tool, an online machine learning tool to generate um, copy uh, writing for their website as well as for social, um, social media promotion. And I thought that it was really funny to watch. So I'm just going to do the same thing for Trivi, um, <laughs> for Aqua Security Trivi, which is an open source uh, vulnerability and misconfiguration scanner. So you can scan with Trivi your container images for misconfiguration um, and for vulnerabilities and your infrastructure's code and uh, your file systems, such as your Go project or your JavaScript project for misconfigurations and vulnerabilities. Now let's get started. I'm here on the website, I'm already logged in. And first of all, I wanna create a blog, okay, for Trivi. Now, this is the Trivi website. This is Trivi. You can scan your container images right here. So Ubuntu uh, latest, let's see what vulnerabilities are in there. We can just go ahead and scan it. You can also use the Trivi CLI and through the Trivi CLI, you get access to a lot more functionality, but let's go ahead and create a blog post. <laughs> So, blog post, come on, new one. Okay, new project. Okay, uh, describe the blog post. Trivi, Trivi for vulnerability and misconfiguration scans of your application resources. Trivi is the go-to scanner for vulnerability and misconfiguration, vulnerabilities, misconfigurations of your application resources. Before deploying any resource to your Kubernetes cluster, make sure to scan them with Trivi. Trivi. Let's use this. Okay, keywords, Kubernetes, security, Docker. Let's go with this. You can scan any container registry with Trivi, any images from any container registry, also from your private registries, uh, just to mention it. No, you might notice that I have this head going on because I had an operation and I'm not allowed to wear any makeup. So it kind of distracts from my face. That's why the hat situation. And I think I look really good with a hat. So I'm going to keep the hat, just FYI. <laughs> but this is going to take a few seconds since there's a lot of machine learning magic going on. So what is the title? What title do we want to have? Is your Kubernetes cluster secured? How Trivi can help secure your Kubernetes environment? This is more like starboard. So let's quickly go into the difference between Trivi and starboard. Before you deploy any resources, before you use any resources within your CICD pipeline or locally, you want to scan Git repositories, your file systems, any third party container images, um, your Docker file, then your Terraform or other infrastructure configuration files for vulnerabilities. Now, this all happens before you deploy any resources to your Kubernetes cluster. Before you deploy anything, you want to check them for um, misconfigurations and vulnerabilities, right? So that you can minimize the attack vector before you actually deploy it, right? And then within your Kubernetes cluster, you want to deploy a starboard operator. Now the starboard operator lives within your cluster and does several scans uh, on namespace scope, but also on cluster scope, such as scanning the nodes for vulnerabilities. But it also scans your deployments for vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. There are several different scans going on and there are more details on the starboard and Trivi GitHub repository that's linked below. So check that out. Now going back to my fun little project here. Okay, Trivi Kubernetes Security Scanner for Kubernetes Cloud. No, this is too much. Use Trivi to scan your Docker images before deploying them in Kubernetes. Let's just go ahead with this. This is very descriptive, but we want to make it easy for the tool, right? So introduction, the problem, solution, deployment, conclusion. Ugh, this is like uh, earlier I recorded it and it did a much more creative outline. We were tired of wasting time on non-urgent security issues when deploying our services into production. But we wasted time 
but it was <laughs> oh we thought we wasted time we didn't waste it this is why we built trivi what does it mean oh this is why we built trivi no i don't want to this is not a good outline let's do it again until i like it okay we want to create a real blog post here how does it work why should you use it how does it compare to other products let's just go with that simple straightforward right okay inter paragraph introduction okay want to ensure that your community this cluster is as secure as possible trivi can help trivi scans all of your resources in your cluster and reports on any vulnerabilities or misconfigurations those finds when you use Trivi, you will know exactly what your cluster looks like and if there are any issues that you need to be fixed before deploying anything in production. Read on to learn how to use Trivi to scan your Docker images before deploying them in Kubernetes. This is nice! How can I ensure my Kubernetes cluster or its parts are secure before they are deployed? How can I know? Well, how do I make sure that my Docker images don't have any vulnerabilities and misconfigurations in them? To answer these questions, you should use Trivi, the open source scanner from... No, it's from Aqua. <laughs> there are three reasons why you need to use Trivi. You can scan your Docker images before deploying them in Kubernetes. If... Okay, to small tip. If you say there are three reasons, you kind of have to list three reasons. Okay. Off the shelf, Docker images can be extremely useful for deploying your applications, but are not always ready to run in production. That's a good point. Trivi is the go-to scanner for vulnerabilities and misconfigurations of your application resources, providing you with the assurance that your resources will run correctly and securely after the deploy. Let's go with this. I like this. The first one is nice, but this is also nice. <laughs> That's how my reasoning. This is nice, but this is also nice. Okay. Um, okay. Continue to editor. Okay. How does it work? Uh, run Trivi. Trivi in your CI CD pipeline or uh, CLI in your terminal. Should I waste words on that? To scan Okay, I only have fifteen words, okay? So this is gonna be the first sentence. Let's see. What does it do? Oh, <laughs> anticipation. Trivi is a security scanner for your containerized application resources. When you integrate Trivi in your CI CD pipeline, you run it before deployment. It detects potential vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. When integrated with your Kubernetes environment, Trivi runs as an offline CLI tool and scans your Docker containers before starting up a new instance in production. This doesn't make much sense to me. No. Um, for vulnerabilities, let's see what it does now. Let's let's try again. This is a little good try, but let's try again. So let's see. Trivi is a security scanner for your containerized application resources. When you integrate Trivi in your CI CD pipeline, you run it before deployment. It detects potential vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. When integrated with your Kubernetes environment, Trivi runs as an offline CI tool. No, this is not correct. If you run it, what is this? What have you done? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Running applications on Kubernetes or Docker's RAM. Who uses Docker Swarm? Don't use Docker Swarm. Security has been more important for well, vulnerabilities can lead to data breaches and stolen credentials. Yes, it can vulnerabilities can lead to a lot of bad stuff. And I nearly swore it there and it didn't. So kudos to me. They can also create a bad reputation for your company. The best way to ensure that nothing bad happens. This does not make any sense. I mean, no. 
No, this is not good. Okay, and he being is your deeper. Use Trivi to um, scan your container images for vulnerabilities. CI CD pipeline to scan your container images for vulnerabilities. To scan your resources for vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. This is like the most complete sentence that you can possibly pack up into 15 words. So kudos to me for writing this up. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's go with the next one. I don't care. We just go with the next one, okay? So we have a timeline here with deadlines. Okay, so TV is a security scanner for containerized application resources. When you integrate TV in your CICD pipeline, you run it before deployment. It detects potential vulnerability misconfiguration. Integrate. Oh. The best way to ensure that nothing bad happens. Use Trivia in your CI CD pipeline to scan your application resources for vulnerabilities and misconfiguration. This will save you time and money by reducing security risks associated with deploying resource configuration manual. Let us know if you have any questions. Our team would be happy to help. This does not. Okay, let's just go with it. Why you should use Trivia? Cloud, cloud native resources are highly complex. Does want to know what goes into your deployment? You want to know what goes into your deployment. Okay. We just go with the next ones because we're on deadlines. <laughs> okay, let's see. Why you should when it comes to cloud native architecture, you want to know what goes into your deployment. Vulnerabilities and misconfigurations are often related to backend resources. To mitigate these risks, use Trivia, which is a lightweight, easy to use vulnerability scanner for cloud native resources such as Docker images or Kubernetes configurations. This is really nice. Good, good, good. Hold on. Okay. How does it compare to other products? I have many configuration scanners available, but Trivi is the only one you will ever need. Let's just say that. It's like when it's used Trivi, you will never go back to anything else. Trivi is the only config scanner you will ever need. There are many scanners, but the best ones do not support scanning Docker images. <laughs> they can't. Okay. With Trivi, you can easily search from any OS configurations or vulnerabilities, any application resources, containers, and pods, and then fix it quickly with just one click. This is extreme, extremely helpful. For those who want to secure their applications from the security perspective. This is not how you write. It's application securely, but on. <laughs> secure their applications from a security perspective? No. Because it saves lots of time that otherwise would have been wasted trying to fix these kind of errors by themselves. This does not make any sense. It sounds cute. Let's just I mean, let's, let's see what it does. Like, let, let's try it again. I mean, it just it, the sentences didn't make much sense to me. So, let's see. Trivia is the only scan. There are many of Trivia. You can easily search for any misconfigurations or vulnerabilities in your application resource containers and parts, and then fix it correctly with just one click. I wish anything would ever be just one click. This is extremely helpful for those who want to secure the application from the security perspective because it saves lots of time. Otherwise, would have been, let's just go with it. This is good, okay. 
Okay, how do I? Okay, no. Okay, how do I? Do I copy paste this now? Okay. So let's open another one because I don't want to lose this one. And then what we will do now is we create Twitter ads because you know I'm a developer advocate. I have to be on Twitter always. I have to make sure that I'm present on Twitter and promote Trivi to all of my amazing followers. Thank you so much. I'm being ironic, okay? Like, don't take me too serious. Okay. <laughs> Chief is the world's most popular open source vulnerability misconfiguration scanner. It's reliable, fast, extremely easy to use. This is from the website. So let's go with it. Again, check out the website. Look how beautiful it is. This is you. This is Trivi. And it scans for vulnerabilities. Okay. So default. Got it. Generate. We are on deadlines. <sighs> I feel like I watched I watched too many of like the Netflix scam shows like um, on Anna Delvey um, and the Tinless Windler and now I'm, t <laughs> I'm imitating the way they speak. This is not good. Um, stay up to date with cutting edge features and scan quickly and reliably with Trivi. Well, you're not really staying up to date with features, but it reminds you to update your versions. Introducing our latest Trivi release. Trivi is 100% open source and trusted by professionals worldwide. Start using Trivi today and find more vulnerabilities. You will find all the vulnerabilities. Free update. Again, this is boring. World's most popular open source vulnerability scanner just got better with the days. Okay, it's really focusing on the February release, which I'm not too, which I'm a little confused by. Let's go with Playful. Let's see what it does. That's the last thing we do, and then I think I'm done. Playful. Oh, I have to click generate. This is my bad. Um, let's see. Let's see. It's like, oh. We are Trivi. We scan. We scan you. <laughs> oh, we scan your stuff. <laughs> we scan your stuff while we scan. <laughs> <laughs> we scan your stuff. Well, we scan you. <laughs> we scan you, your stuff, and all your stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is amazing. I didn't expect this. Let's do this again. Let's read it again. We are trivy. We scan. We scan you. We scan your stuff. We scan your stuff while we scan you. We scan you while we scan your stuff. We scan your stuff while we scan you while we scan your stuff. We scan you, your stuff, and all your stuff. Great performance, now. Trivi is the most popular open source vulnerability scanner and it's free! If you don't know what that means, don't worry, it's simple to use. <laughs> Just it and run it. Oh, this is nice, I like it. We are not just black and white, we are also full of color. Trivi is so popular, you can use it to scan yours. <laughs> Trivi is the most popular open source vulnerability scanner on the planet. It has more stars than a cluster of galaxies. This is cute. Okay. I'm done now. This was fun. Thank you. Well, let's do this this way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do make sure to check out the Trivi repository and the Starboard repository. Give both of them a star on GitHub. It would mean a lot to myself and to everybody else in the team and who's contributing to our open source projects. I really hope to see you in one of my I really hope to see you in one of my upcoming videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.